in this corporate, current corporate world, mm -hmm. nobody oppose anymore the cybersecurity, but cybersecurity right now, including also the privacy. What are some challenges and what kind of technologies build around to address these challenges? Sure, sure. So I think uh, the passage of, of the EU's general uh, data protection regulation, as well as the California Consumer Privacy Act here in the, in the U.S., uh, are, are, are really kind of uh, causing a lot of the challenges that we're seeing clients uh, uh, have to deal with right now, right? Uh, I can talk you through uh, several of them. One would be uh, the, the broad definition of personal information, for example, uh, that uh, the CCPA has, right? Not only is it extraordinarily broad, uh, but it also applies to not just individuals, but to households, right? So in a world where you know everything is connected to you know to the internet, uh, from things in your home to your car, you know, uh, etc., that's a very daunting task uh, in terms of respecting privacy and protecting uh, that information. Another big challenge area I would say uh, is the requirement to have a, what they call a records of processing activities, right? Which is essentially an inventory of. Um, you know, what, what personal information you have about individuals, why you have it, how you're using it, who you're sharing it with, where you're transferring it to, how you're protecting it, how long you're keeping it for, uh, et cetera. When you think about uh, how much personal information organization, organizations have and how much it proliferates vertically, uh, horizontally, electronic, non-electronic, structured, unstructured, etc., the concept of having a, a single inventory of all that data uh, is a very daunting one uh, and a very uh, challenging one. Data subject rights uh, is a huge cha challenge uh, from both a GDPR and a, a CCPA uh, perspective. Uh, that's the right to request uh, all the information that you have about me, uh, to amend it, uh, to create a, a data portability file that can be transferred to another provider, or the right to erase anything and everything uh, that you have about me. CCPA takes it one step further, right, and also gives you the right to object to the sale of your information, right? Um, we talked about how much information organizations have and all the different repositories that it is in. Again, electronic, non-electronic, structured, unstructured. You could be talking about dozens, hundreds, if not thousands, right, of, of places where this data is. So the, the premise or the concept uh, of, of being able to, upon a request, go and delete all of that, right, within 30 or 45 uh, days to aggregate it or, or to extract it out of all those repositories and create a single data file uh, to immediately stop the processing or the sale of information is an extraordinarily uh, difficult uh, challenge, right? Um, so that's another uh, challenging area. The 72-hour breach notification uh, requirement that GDPR has is a, is a big challenge, right? It's 72 hours, right? Uh, not, it's three days, and it's not three business days, right? Uh, you hear stories all the time about you know organizations that it takes weeks, months, years to figure out what happened, right? Uh, the premise of being able to tell the the impacted individuals uh, or the regulatory authorities what happened, how it happened, how many people were in, you know impacted, what you're doing about it, etc., in 72 hours is an extremely you know uh, daunting uh, premise. Those are a few of the. Um, uh, the challenge is you also asked about uh, technology, right? So it's an exciting time from a privacy enabling technology perspective. I think historically speaking, a lot of uh, the technology that was out there, right, was really more focused um, on security, right, and about uh, around protecting data. Uh, with, uh, you know, the passage of, of GDPR, with CCPA, and candidly, with the amount that CCPA-like laws are expected to proliferate here in the States, as well as GDPR-like laws uh, proliferate global globally, and those arduous requirements that we talked about, it has opened the market right for uh, vendors that are are focusing on privacy-enabling technologies. So things like uh, records of processing activities, uh, technology to do data protection impact um, assessments, technologies to uh, facilitate data subject rights requests manage um, incidents, uh, manage consents, which is another, you know, uh, kind of arduous uh, requirement that we haven't, you know, yet talked about. Uh, so there's there's vendors here at RSA, right, that are uh, specializing, you know, in this, in this area. And I think that that's going to be important um, for organizations moving forward. I think a lot of companies for the May uh, 25th deadline, and even those for CCPA for the January 2020 deadline,